Single Camera Calibration. This tutorial describes a novel method for extracting accurate 3D data utilizing a single DSLR camera. An intermediate understanding of photography and the ability to operate a DSLR camera is recommended. Before we begin, you will need to download the following. Stereo Calibration Wizard, DSLR Remote Multipro, Checkerboard Targets. Targets should be printed on matte paper, not glossy, or even semi-glossy stock. Always choose a calibration size that is not less than half the size of the subject matter you plan to photograph after calibrating. Checkerboard targets need to be mounted onto a rigid backing. For targets less than or equal to 8.5 inches by 11 inches, a quarter inch thick sheet of MDF or particle board, plexiglass, or other flat rigid material will suffice. For larger targets, we recommend using a lightweight gator board material in quarter inch or half inch thickness. In order to perform a single camera calibration, you will need the following. DSLR camera with lens. A tripod with three-way head to attach, position, and angle your DSLR camera. Tethering software to trigger your camera remotely. We highly recommend using a permanent power adapter for your DSLR camera. A PC or laptop running Windows 7, Windows Vista, or XP. Prior to 3D extraction, we will need to solve for two sets of camera unknowns, the intrinsic and the extrinsic parameters. The intrinsic camera parameters are solved by photographing a checkerboard target of known checker size at varying angles as described within this tutorial. This portion of the calibration needs to be performed only once provided the camera settings remain unchanged. However, the extrinsic camera parameters for a single camera setup need to be calculated for every stereo pair of photographs, in contrast to the dual camera calibration whereas the cameras remain fixed relative to one another and calibrated together. The single camera solution requires us to move one camera freeform into two positions. For this reason, we will need to calculate the extrinsic camera parameters for each position prior to performing a 3D extraction. The single camera method described herein is a far more tedious procedure than the dual camera setup. It should be limited to static objects and is less accurate than the dual camera approach. We recommend using a dual camera setup whenever possible. We nonetheless present this method for users limited to only one DSLR camera. A dual camera setup has the advantage of superior accuracy and 3D data, very versatile, requires calibrating only once. A single camera setup requires only one DSLR camera. Disadvantages are that the extrinsic calibration is less accurate and you must calibrate prior to each extraction. Before you can extract accurate 3D data from a pair of photographs, you must perform a camera calibration. When using a single DSLR camera, we first solve the camera's intrinsic parameters by photographing a checkerboard target at varying angles. Then in the next section, single camera photography, we will solve the extrinsic parameters by photographing the subject in line with the calibration target from two points of view. The camera unknowns are the intrinsic camera information, that is, focal length, principal point, lens distortion, etc. The extrinsic information, that is, relative rotation and translation of the camera in space. Keep in mind that the calibration we perform here will define our photographic parameters later. Examples being Window size, focal length, the distance to our subject, depth of field, focus, etc. Choose to calibrate and or photograph in either a portrait or landscape camera orientation. Position the checkerboard target roughly perpendicular to your camera. Maximize the checkerboard target within your camera's window. Aim at the checkerboard target center, then zoom and focus your camera appropriately. From this point on, your camera and lens must remain set to full manual control and triggered remotely. Because we are mimicking a dual camera setup, we will follow a similar methodology as employed in the dual camera procedure. Create a new project directory with two subfolders named Camera 1 and Camera 2. Save your checkerboard calibration images into either the Camera 1 or Camera 2 folder. Use the following naming convention. Acceptable values are from 01 to 99. In a dual camera setup, the Camera 2 folder is always your top camera in a portrait configuration or the left camera in a landscape configuration. In a dual camera setup, the Camera 1 folder is always your bottom camera in a portrait configuration or the right camera in a landscape configuration. If using DSLR Remote Multi Pro to trigger your camera, go to the Camera menu, Edit, Camera ID, type the following. Go to File. 
Preferences, check both the GANG camera shutter release and GANG camera settings, type the following. Set the digits to 2. Set your project directory. Take your first image with the checkerboard calibration target roughly perpendicular to your camera. Then rotate the target arbitrarily 20 to 45 degrees, left, right, up, and down, saving the images as you go. Move the target slightly back and forward and repeat the rotation process. Acquire a minimum of 12 to 16 images for optimal stereo calibration. Once you have taken 12 to 16 calibration images, copy the images into the other camera folder and rename the files appropriately. The images in the camera 1 and camera 2 folders are identical but are named with either the prefix C1 or C2. Before continuing this tutorial, please complete the single camera photography tutorial which explains how to photograph your subject matter in line with the checkerboard target to produce the unique L99.jpg stereo pair. Once the L99.jpg stereo pair has been acquired, proceed with the steps that follow to run the stereo calibration wizard. Run the stereo calibration wizard. Input the number of squares on your target based on a portrait or landscape setup. Measure the size of your printer squares in millimeters. Input that value. Click Next. Set the path to your calibration photos. Copy the calibration images to both the Camera 1 and Camera 2 folders. Click Next. Image L99.jpg in the Camera 1 folder and image L99.jpg in the Camera 2 folder are unique and define your camera's extrinsic parameters. Click Next. Check Calibrate K1 K2 and assume square pixels. Click Next. Deselect Use Best Image Pair. Select the stereo pair L99.jpg. This is your only unique pair of stereo images. Save the camera 1.tcl and camera 2.tcl files in the respective directories by selecting First Camera, SC, and clicking Save As to save the file camera 1.tcl in the camera 1 folder second camera, SC, and clicking Save As, to save the camera2.tcl in the camera2 folder. The camera1.tcl and camera2.tcl files, along with your camera1.jpg and camera2.jpg, define a unique stereo pair solution. These four files can be uploaded to the Scanner Killer server for 3D extraction.